Have ever heard that in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, you're supposed to work from top to bottom, left to right. Well, that's not entirely true. Now, I don't know if even Adobe knows this. I mean, they created, so they probably do, but there is a specific order that you actually should be working on in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. And I'm going to show you what that order is today. Now that order is going to be based on what in Adobe Camera Raw here is going to be affecting your image first as you start working through your editing process. So you'll see here, this says basic curve, detail, color mixer, color grading, and so on and so forth, right? You would think that you were supposed to work in that order then, that the basic adjustment should come first, then your curves, then your details, then your color mixer, color grading, and so on and so forth, right? Well, that's not entirely true. So I'm going to show you what this actual order should be. Okay. And then I'm going to explain exactly why. So in the new Adobe camera all 13.2, it gives us the option to change the order of these editing panels. Now to do that, we right click anywhere inside here and go to edit panels to show. So once you hit edit panels to show, you're going to see here, it says, use the up and down arrow keys to change the order of the selected panel. So what I'm going to tell you here, and I want you to just base this off of trust first and see if you trust me with this, and then I'll give you the proof. So based off of trust, the order actually should be profile first, obviously, because that's the thing that's going to make the uh, biggest significant adjustment to your image, then your basic settings, but it's not curve next. The actual next thing that Adobe camera on Lightroom is reading is the calibration, which is last on our list. So we're going to move this up right underneath basic. Okay. Now after calibration, what comes next is going to be your color or black and white mixer, not your curve and detail, maybe your detail, but definitely not your curve. So we're going to grab that color. We're going to move it up. So now this reads basic calibration, color, black and white mixer, curve, detail, color grading, and so on and so forth. Actually, the last thing that should be listed here is going to be color grading because color grading, that's, that's the last thing that happens on the whole top of your stack of everything that's going on in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. But what happens with effects, geometry, optics, detail, I would suggest that you put those in the order of which you use them. For me, it would be detail first, then possibly optics, geometry, I don't use that much, and I very rarely use effects. Actually, I would probably almost more than likely turn that off so I don't see it, but because I'm an educator and everyone would ask me, where are your effects, Blake? I leave it in there. So we'll press okay. So now we're gonna see this quick flash. It's gonna reset and we're gonna see basic calibration, color mixer, curve, and detail. That might be a little bit difficult to get used to at first, but now I told you, I'm gonna give you some proof here, right? Why is it that we do it in that order? So if we look at this image, we can tell that the white balance is a little bit off. It's actually a little bit too blue, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna leave it this way. So I wanna to prove to you that the curve does not come before the color mixer. So in the old setup, the actual default setup that's in Adobe Camera on Lightroom, the curve is before the color mixer. So this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do to prove this. Let's actually, for the sake of the tutorial, because you might be just popping in here now, I'm going to go to uh, edit panels to show and default order, just so it doesn't confuse you. Okay. So now we've got this set to the default order. You see that the curve is on top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deliberately go into the red curve and make this image very ugly and hideously red. Okay. Now, one would think that if you're supposed to work from top to bottom, then left to right, that if I go into the color mixer and then I go into the red, I should be able to modify these reds. Do you think it's going to happen? If you trust me, you'll know that it doesn't watch. We're going to go into the saturation of the red. I'm going to try and reduce the saturation of these reds. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to try and change the hue of these reds. It's not going anywhere. Why? because the curve is actually forcing a ton of red into this image. So if the color mixer actually did come after the curve, we should see a difference here and we don't. That's how I know internally that something's happening here in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom that is basically saying, hey, color mixer, you should be doing things first and you won't be able to modify the things that are happening to the curve. So the curve should actually come after the color mixer. So let's redo that order. We're gonna go and edit our panels to show. Again, calibration, that is actually going to be after your basic adjustments. Then we're going to go to color and black and white mixer. We're going to move that up. Our curve is going to be next. Color grading is going to be dead last. That should actually be the last thing we do anyway. Then I'm going to go detail, optics, geometry, and effects. These, no particular order for these. But these are the ones that you really want to pay attention to right here.
And you don't have to reorder your stuff this way. I'm telling you this from experience. I spent countless hours trying to deduce what is happening to my images when I'm working in Adobe Camera Raw to get to this level. Now, if you want the full unabridged version of the proof that I have for this, I have a whole course called the Intelligent Profiles and Presets. It comes with profiles, it comes with presets, and it comes with lots of education that explains exactly what happens at the raw level while you're working in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. If you're interested in that, go ahead and click this link right here or in the description below. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I do tutorials like this all the time where I take very difficult things in Photoshop and make them easy to understand.